My name is Marilyn Strickland and I'm the mayor of Tacoma, Washington. So Tacoma is a city of 200,000 people and I like to refer to Tacoma as an international waterfront city. We have a port, we have the largest military installation on the west coast and we have a very, very diverse population from around the world. But Tacoma, Washington is probably the best kept secret in Washington state and whenever people visit they always seem a little surprised and they say, I didn't know it was so nice and so beautiful. And so aside from being physically attractive, we have beautiful kind people who are there too. So it's a great welcoming community. But I believe that strong neighborhoods are physically attractive and the built environment is very positive. We are striving to be the city in America with the highest number of community gardens per capita. What really motivated me more than anything was not just the beautification part of it, but the fact that two grocery stores had closed in an underserved neighborhood in a very short period of time. And because there was a food desert in one part of town, I thought to myself, well, why don't we help people learn about urban gardening? So we started opening community gardens. There's now a farmer's market there. And oddly enough, um, two grocery stores have opened again. And so we were able to get you know, better access to healthy food, a farmer's market, and then a grocery store has come back as well. But one of our biggest challenges is attracting private investment that doesn't require a large government subsidy. And I think that as we talk about what that means, you know, we need to increase our density. We need to build walkable neighborhoods. We need a very, very good, solid public transportation system. And we have to make sure that you know, we're able to attract employers and that people don't have to drive a long distance or ride a long distance to get to work. One of the biggest developments in Tacoma over the last decade has been the establishment of the University of Washington Tacoma campus in our downtown core. And it's really interesting, Tacoma kind of got bypassed during the whole urban renewal phase of the late 60s and 70s. So as a result, a lot of historic property did not get raised. So we have this beautiful stock of old warehouses and historic property, and the University of Washington Tacoma campus is actually built in rehabbed warehouses. So it is a beautiful urban campus, it's an urban serving university, and we hope to have 5,000 students there in the next few years. It's where, you know, a lot of times in government, and especially over land use issues, cities are very divided. In this particular issue, everyone came together. Business, nonprofit, government, private residents, because we knew how important this university is to the future of our city. So we have light rail downtown, and we're in the process of doing some planning to extend it. And the good news is that you have about five different neighborhoods who are vying for it. And so that means there's a lot of demand for it. So we're going to try and think about ridership and really economic impact of extending light rail. We also have a lot of small businesses that are popping up downtown near the university, which is good for, which is good for Tacoma, and also to really try trying to make sure that we have adequate affordable housing. There have been conversations in the past about building dorms on the campus, but because this is an urban serving university, we want the students to use downtown as their classroom and live and breathe in the community. Well, I think the reality is that government is shrinking because the revenues aren't there. And so we have to make some hard decisions about making cuts, but at the end of the day, we have a responsibility to make sure that we're being very efficient with the resources that we do have. Now, moving forward, I think for a lot of cities is that the public sector alone cannot solve all the problems. So, you know, we went through a phase where we built a convention center. We still continue to invest in transportation, but we need private partners who are willing to come to the table and really, you know, find a way for us to work together to mitigate risk, but to really demonstrate that there are opportunities in Tacoma. Things. One of the things that I tell people who are newly elected, or in general, is that every time you make a decision, you're going to make someone unhappy. So once you understand that, move forward with your conscientious decision making and use your heart. I also think too that when we talk about smart growth, transportation, affordable housing, economic development, those things are all connected.